How's it going guys? Welcome back to a video on Code Tech Tutorials. Today I'm going to just do a little update on this Ancient Archer game engine game thing I've been working on. And as it says here, it's a work in progress 3D scripting game engine built on C++. Uh, it's, it's my own little personal project and this is the, I think, sixth vlog. And it might be the last one in a while, as I'll explain. So it's been a while since I've done one of these and I've basically been working on getting some new lighting going and potentially other rendering systems like Vulkan. And I've thought about also doing more with the rendering too. So there's a lot going on right now is what it comes down to. And I'm a bit overwhelmed working on this and I haven't had as much time as I usually have being that uh, kids are out of school. I've probably only spent about half the usual time on this in the last couple weeks. And I think I'm going to learn some stuff on Unreal for a while and then come back to this. But this is still private as you can see. I want to make a few final little changes here. Mainly just straighten out the lighter, the lighting. But currently the only rendering this does is on OpenGL. So since that's being depreciated I've got to update all that rendering stuff and update all the shaders. Now I'm not a shader guru and this is what eats a lot of my time is trying to get all the shaders right. Uh, so that's been a bit of a struggle. Like I can handle the logic and structuring things, but when it comes to setting up all the shaders and putting in all the math lighting, the math for the lighting, it, uh, it can be a little overwhelming at times. And also, getting your loader correctly seems to be pretty, pretty crucial too. So I have this little file for loading for OpenGL, and yeah, it has to match with the shaders. And uh, so that's basically where I am. I'll do a quick run of the thing just to kind of show you where it's at. Let's see here. And I, you know, I have no shortage of ideas and things to do. It's all about not spreading myself too thin and uh, execution, how well I can, I can do in any of these. And yeah, I think I'm spreading myself too thin. So that's one of the reasons I got to make some choices here to put things on hold or not and what to focus on. But this is what it looks like. We're on the on some test uh, yeah I'm on some uh, test branch I'm not on the master of development I think I'm on lighting test there's a lot of changes that I haven't even committed here and right now I think something's messed up with the shaders so it doesn't show the textures right so I need to at least fix that let's see what is that it's diligent engine and I was also looking at diligent, diligent engine as you may have seen from my last video and considering using its rendering system and then wrapping it up in my world logic and windowing system. So that's another thing in the pipeline, potentially another option. All right, let's see. So what did I do last? I've just been kind of updating things and I fixed some mouse issues and updated the controls and window hand handling. So the thing I'm actually most proud of is of this right now is the window handling and the way the controls can be integrated in pretty easily and uh, yeah sound effects obviously work that one in there for a little fireball thing but this is showing a shader error error because it's in debug and it's just yeah it's not loading the shader stuff right so that's why these look this way these are just randomly placed within this location uh, that you see them in within a and I could arbitrarily do anything with any object. But uh, yeah, here I'm just testing some shader stuff, apparently where I left off. Well, there's not a whole lot else to say about this other than it's a big in progress thing. And uh, I do wanna just go ahead and make it public and let it sit there for a while while I work on Unreal. So I think a good choice for me would be to do that because I'm sort of at a point where I just look at everything 
in my engine and I can do this for hours just look at everything and do like a bunch of little changes but make no real progress so I think I need to step back and uh, look at the bigger picture that way I can get an idea of exactly what I need to fix and focus on so I might come back in a month or two and start focusing on this engine again but after this vlog and a few last pending changes it is going on the bench for a while as I I'm gonna focus on learning Unreal and get as many takeaways as I can from that and in that process I think that I can improve Ancient Archer in the long run because what it comes down to is I just need to use other game engines I'm I've always not used game engines so even when I was doing my computer courses and uh, computer science courses in school throughout that whole time we were like more instructed how to write our own stuff using engines and stuff was uh, not really allowed in any of the projects so yeah I've never really made a game with an engine before I've made a couple little games with my own code and uh, I think I really want to just dig in and already since I've been digging in and learning stuff I've kind of learned what they separate and what it, and what should be kind of presented to the user or not or just handled so those are things that I will probably incorporate into this engine at a later time into my ancient archer game engine now I should also say that this didn't start out as a game engine it was actually like this little project for school maybe I've said this before in other videos I'm not sure but after I finished the project I kept kind of just working on it and realizing that I could build a system around this and it's changed many times since then but uh, yeah that's kind of how it all started and I just started calling it game engine because I wanted to be able to make arbitrarily any game with it but uh, yeah I guess that's where it's at so I might give it a different name when it actually releases too. I haven't decided on that, but I've considered it Ancient Archer. I don't know about that name. It'd be nice if I could get like a proper archery demo going, then maybe I'd be happy with the name. But right now the physics is not really in there. I haven't really got a chance to focus on that at all. I've been messing with other stuff. So, yeah, that's it. All right, I think I've rambled on enough. Let me know what you guys think and uh, look forward to some more videos. I might do some Unreal tutorials, some, some basics that'll help you get started, things that helped me. And uh, peace out guys, stay safe out there. Don't catch the uh, thing, stay inside, stay in your home, all that. Anyway, peace out. I gotta go help open something.